hello. I'm R.O. Stein. I write the Goosebumps books. Today's story is a night in Terror Tower. It all begins right here, in the torture chamber. Eddie and Sue are about to make their first visit. It might also be their last. Do you know the scariest part of the tour? It's trying to get out. I hope you enjoy your visit. Uh, excuse me, miss. Could I get this gift wrapped? place to visit, but you wouldn't want to stay too Whoa. long. I'd like to see the tower, where they lock people up and torture them. Yeah, that sounds like fun, but I'll bet you anything, we're gonna go to another boring museum. All right, tourists. Back on the bus. Hey, where's my film? I know I had another role. The mad pickpocket strikes again. The obnoxious little brother strikes again. Never even felt me take it. I have to admit, you are getting pretty good. Got the fastest hands in the West. Let's go, let's go. No lagging. All right, tourists. Uh, I'm afraid we're running out of museums, but we can go to Terra Tower. Terra Tower, yes! Too bad Mom and Dad had that business conference. Yep, we're on our own. Step lightly. Ladies and gentlemen, behold, Terra Tower. Where hope dies, light is extinguished, and the soul yearns for its release. Now, follow me, everybody, and please, Stay together. They used to torture people up there. They used to lock them up in the tower and let them starve to death. That was hundreds of years ago, Eddie. Now they just sell postcards. It still looks pretty creepy. Go back! Go back! Come on, we better catch up. Historians say the castle was built in the year 400 and used as a walled fort. Now, if you'll all follow me. Stay together, everyone. Please stay together. Later, it became a prison. That started many years of cruelty and torture within these walls. Lovely postcards depicting the instruments of torture are available in the gift shop. Now, if you'll kindly follow me, we'll climb to the tower. Everybody in? Guards. I'm so sorry. I'm afraid I have to give you some rather bad news. Huh? Bad news? You will be imprisoned in the North Tower. There. You will be tortured until you tell us the real reason you chose to come here. Tortured? Did he say tortured? Take them away.
<laughs> Just a little terror tower joke. <laughs> we Brits have to have some fun, you know. He really had me going. Yeah, me too. Now, if you'll just follow me, we'll enter the torture chamber. Now, please, stick together. Now, I'll carry this high so that you can find me. Uh, there are hundreds of passages and secret chambers. It's rather easy to get lost. You, you sure you want to go up in the torture chamber? I thought you couldn't wait to see it. I know. There's something about this place. Don't worry, I'll hold your hand. Real funny. This way, tourists. That's it. Stay together. Boy, if I was the king of England, I knew what I'd do first thing. What's that, your majesty? Put in elevators. Don't dawdle, tourists. Keep moving. <sighs> well, that's it. Come right in. Welcome to the torture chamber. This is the rack. As you can see, the prisoner was forced to lie back here. Then his arms and legs were tied off so. And then when the big wheel was turned, the ropes pulled his arms and legs, stretched them out straight. Stretched and stretched until his bones were pulled right out of their sockets. That's what I call doing a long stretch in prison. Good one. <laughs> Uh, now, uh, if you'll all follow me over to the thumb screws. Hey, Eddie, let me take your picture. <laughs> Great, hold it just like that. Hurry up. I can't hold this stupid look much longer. Just a sec. <gasps> Forget it. I'm going to see the thumb screws. Mustn't touch the displays. It's very bad form. Why do parents let children go off on their own? But, but I. <clears throat> the North Tower is next. I hope you're wearing your climbing shoes. I know it moved. I could have sworn. What's this place? It does things to your mind? Thought I saw weird things a couple of times. We better catch up. Come on, let's get out of here. This place gives me the creeps. Come on, Eddie. <laughs> They're only wax. Right. Only wax. Eddie. prisoner and being marched up these stairs. Yeah. This place is creepy. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. Are you all right? Come along, tennis. Yes. We are now 
at the top of the tower. This is the chamber where the most important political prisoners were kept. Perhaps you can feel the sadness in this room. It was here in the early 15th century that the young prince and princess of York were brought. Imagine two children dragged away from their home, locked away in a drab chill of this cell at the top of a tower. What happened to them? The prince and princess weren't here for long. That night as they slept, the Lord High Executioner's men crept up the stairs. Their orders to kill the two children, to keep the prince and the princess from ever taking the throne. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wait a minute. It's not real. None of it. It's a recording. It's only a display. What do you want? You know. Why are you chasing us? You know why. Now, you come with me. I won't hurt you. But if you don't, why? I'll have no choice. No! Let me go! We lost our tour group, and a man chased us! A man? In the tower? Yeah, he was dressed in black. He grabbed us and he tried to get us to go with him, but we ran away. There's no man in the tower. I'm the only one here after closing. But he chased us! That's impossible. I should call the police. But we didn't do anything! He chased us! How are we supposed to get back to the hotel? Our parents will be waiting. You remain right there. What is he doing? Is he calling the police? Let him. We didn't do anything. What if he's calling the guy who's chasing us? Hey, there's a cab. Hey! Hey! Oh, we're glad to see you. We're too. The Bob Moral. All right, jump in. It'll be twelve pounds sixty pence. I don't really know your money. Could you get the right amount from these? What are those? Coins, isn't it enough? Oh, don't play games with me. Those aren't real coins. We take British pounds here. Now, are you gonna pay me in British pounds 
or are we gonna have major trouble? But, but why would our parents give us play money? Well, where are your parents? In the hotel? Yes. They're at a conference. We'll get them to come down and pay you. But in real money this time, if you please. And if you're not back in five minutes, I'm coming in after you. They'll be down, I promise. And you don't have to be so rude. What was wrong with that money? I guess Dad made a mistake. Eddie, do you have the key to the room? No. I thought you had it. I guess I didn't take it. I can't remember. Excuse me, sir. What can I do for you? Can you tell us where the conference is being held? I beg your pardon, but there is no conference right now at the hotel. But our parents said. Well, perhaps you misunderstood them. Perhaps the conference is at another hotel. May we have the key to our room, then? What room are you in? 1415. 1415. That room is vacant. What? There is no one in that room at the present time. But we are. That's our room. What's your last name? Your last name? Eddie, what's our last name? I don't know. Eddie, there's something wrong with us. You don't know your last name. Do you think it might be possible to check into this hotel sometime this evening? Yes, madam, right away. Thank you. Why don't you run along? And when you figure out who you are, come back. I'll be glad to help you then. Madam. Thank you. What's going on? Just calm down. We can't panic. The driver. Now you can panic. Come on. I'll hide in the restaurant. Come on. As I'm sure you are aware, a jacket is required for gentlemen in the Balmoral Lounge. Jacket? I'm sorry, my brother doesn't have a jacket. Most odd. A jacket for the young gentleman. Could you seat us somewhere in the back? I wouldn't dream of seating you anywhere else. Welcome to the Balmoral. May we have a menu, please? Our high tea includes scones, croissants, sandwiches. We'll have that, thank you. Why can't we remember our last name, Sue? I don't know. If only we could find Mom and Dad. Eddie, I can't even remember what they look like. Neither can I. Sue? Where do we live? Do we live in a house? I can't picture it at all. I can't remember. This is crazy. People are staring. There must be something wrong with our memories. I can remember what I did today. So can I. I can remember our room number. And that mom and dad were at a meeting. But those memories are wrong. Eddie, I can't even remember yesterday or the day before that, can you? No. I can't. What's wrong with us? Sue? What's the matter? I don't know. I feel strange. I feel like... 
something awful is gonna happen to us. I think you're right. Well, maybe if we explain what that we lost our memories and we can't pay him. Maybe we sneak it through there. Grab those kids! Run, run, run! That's all we do anymore! I know, I know. Keep running. Wait a minute. No one's following us. What is this place? I guess it's the hotel kitchen. I gave up. I think we're okay. This has got to be the worst day I've ever had. How do you know? Can't remember any others. <laughs> so funny. That jacket. <sighs> Thanks. You're welcome. Think that you could escape from me? Give it back. Give what back? Don't play games with me. Give it to me now. If I give it back to you, will you let us go? Give what back, Eddie? What's he talking about? Will you? Hand it to me. A mad pickpocket. When did you take that? In the dungeon when he grabbed me. Now will you let us go? Yes. We will go now. That's not what I said! Lovero. Stop that! Lovero. No! No! Ah! <laughs>
you know where Eddie is? Eddie? <laughs> Do not worry about Eddie. Come now. You cannot delay your fate. You made a mistake. You've got the wrong girl. I don't know you. I don't know anything. You will come with me now. It is time. No! I'm not coming with you! <laughs> <laughs> You've got to hide me. No, you get Please. away from me. Please. Oh. No. I'll pay you. I'll pay you. Here. Take them. Take them all. Cold sovereigns. I, I saw one once when I was a small lass. Will you take them? Will you take them? Will you hide me, please? All right, quickly. Into the basket. Please. I'm looking for the girl. Yes. She's right here, sire. I put her right here in this basket. She's all wrapped up and ready for you to take her away. <laughs> God! Forgive me, but I dare not go against the Lord High Executioner. Executioner? have done nothing to deserve it, Susanna. Your Grace, I wish I could say I rejoice at your return. May I rise? Yeah, sure. Your Grace. No! It's okay. You're the face we saw. Who are you? You do not remember me. Why does everyone think we remember them? And my name's not Susanna, it's Sue. My name is Morgrid. I am the king's sorcerer. Sorcerer? Did you bring it back in time? It's not an easy story to tell. You are not. Eddie and Sue. What? You are Edward and Susanna, the prince and princess of York. I do not expect you to believe me, but my words are true. I cast a spell upon you. I tried to help you escape. No, it's not true. My name's Eddie, not Edward. Just Eddie. 
What is your last name? When I sent you far into the future, I gave you new memories so that you could survive in a new and distant time. But the memories were not complete. So that's why we couldn't remember our parents. But our parents... Your real parents. Your only parents. The rightful king and queen are dead. Your wicked uncle has named himself king. And he has ordered you to the tower to get you out of the way. But what are you going to do to us? by beheading. No. So it is decreed, and so it shall be done. your parents to keep you from harm and now do not despair you did your best we may be gone but the idea of freedom lives on my brother let us face the executioner's acts with dignity white stones, and without them my magic is weak. I wanted to come to the future with you, to make sure you were safe. Alas, it was not meant to be. Instead, the executioner sent himself into the future to catch you and bring you back. I failed. I failed, and now we all shall pay with our lives. Spare the girl and boy. Do with me as you must. But first allow me to send them into the future. What harm can they possibly do you there? And allow them to grow up and become strong. To find a way to return and take their revenge? I think not. Bring forth the condemned! Be brave, Edward. Be brave. Edward, you are a prince. Please! Please! 
Leave the group. I could get in trouble. There you are. We've been looking all over for you. We made it, yes! Made what? What are you going on about? Don't you know you gave me quite a fright? If I lost two tourists, they'd have my head. I'm afraid it's my fault. Morgren! <laughs> Mr. Morgren. Uh, I'm Sue and Eddie's guardian. Uh, they're my responsibility. I, uh, I'll make sure they don't get lost again. Mm, well, come on then. The tower closes in five minutes. You wouldn't want to get locked in. No, no, we wouldn't want that at all. All right now, to the bus, to the bus! Step lively, tourists! Step lively! Those children should be disciplined. Excuse me, but we never heard the rest of the story. Yeah, what happened to the prince and princess in the tower? Nobody knows exactly. When the king came to the dungeon, the prince and the princess were gone. What happened to them is a mystery to this day. Come along. Edward! Have you been up to your tricks again? Hey, don't look at me! That's our story. Time to go. The tower is closing. How do you get out of here? Can somebody show me the way out? How do we get out? Really, somebody help me. Let me out. Let me out of here.